Hey guys, welcome back to Barry Mouch channel. Today we're going to talk about sleep eating. So this is a thing that I didn't realize was a thing until I started doing research and talking to other people in the bariatric community, but sleep eating is actually a thing. <laughs> there are two different types of sleep eating. There is nocturnal sleep related eating disorder and night eating syndrome. So let's talk through both of those. With nocturnal sleep related eating disorder, you are only partially awake. So a lot of times people are really out of it when they go in and start eating something in the kitchen. They a lot of times don't remember it the next day because it's like a form of sleepwalking. There typically is an episode every single night and for some people they actually have multiple occurrences per night. Typically the foods are high calorie and are consumed very rapidly. And the problem is is that this a lot of times leads to weight gain. So it's really frustrating for people who are kind of out of it and don't even recognize they're doing it because they could be doing great during the day, eating healthy, working out and everything, but then Nighttime comes and they're sleep eating. Only 5% of the population has this disorder. So that's nocturnal sleep related eating disorder, but now let's talk about the night eating syndrome. So with this, you are fully awake, you are fully aware that you are doing it. Um, and a lot of times people are unable to fall back asleep if they have these cravings that they need to go eat something. It's more common in women than it is in men and only one in a hundred people have this. So I have suffered from this. I have woken up in the night and I have gone into the kitchen and remember eating random foods such as like vanilla wafers or M&Ms or candy. Um, and it's really frustrating because I will be doing great on my diet. I will be feeling good. I will feel healthy. But then in the night I will wake up and it just consumes my mind and it makes it to where I feel like I have to go eat something. The problem is that dieting usually causes vulnerability to this and it makes it more common for people to struggle with this because you'll be doing really well but eating very light and then in the night you'll wake up just ravenous and want to go eat everything. The good news is, is that there is some treatment out there for this and it typically starts with a sleep study. That way that they can see kind of what's going on with your brain waves, what's happening when you're asleep um, and maybe you actually have an episode happen when you are actually there for the sleep study. A lot of times this is stress induced, so you have to make sure you're managing your stress correctly and that way you don't wake up in the night feeling like you have to comfort yourself. And for a lot of people, sleep medication can affect them and make it to where it happens more common because they are out of it and really just don't remember a lot of things because the sleep medicine is so strong. So it is advised that you avoid sleep medication if you're struggling from this. If you didn't know that this was a thing and you were struggling with it, please leave me a comment down below because I think it's great that we talk about this and bring more awareness to it so we can figure out how to get through it. Especially people who are struggling from nocturnal sleep related eating disorder, when you are pretty much out of it when you're doing it, it's really frustrating and it's really hard to get through that. There are some medications out there that help this, so if you are struggling with this, I really encourage you to talk to your doctor about it to see if you're a good fit for being on that medication. Because I know it's difficult, I know it's hard when you're doing really well and then you wake up in the night and feel like you have no control. I know you're probably feeling really defeated right now, but hang in there. This is unfortunately just something else we have to deal with on a weight loss surgery journey. Um, not everyone struggles from this, so I don't want you to hear this and be scared that you might have it. But if you are showing these symptoms, then talk to me about it. Talk to the people down below in the comments about this. Talk to your doctor and your support system, and let's try to get to the bottom of it. There are some people out there who even lock up their fridges when they feel like they are really struggling from this. And I know that sounds a little crazy, but it works for people. So if there is something that you can do to make food not as accessible and not as easy to get to, I highly recommend you do those things. Hang in there, guys. I know it's difficult, but we got this. We are here to support one another. So if you are struggling and you need some help talking through this, leave me a comment down below and we will start the conversation. So yeah, you're not crazy. If you came across this video because you did some research on sleep eating, well, hello, welcome to Barry Melt's channel. And I hope you'll stick around and hang out with us as we talk about more topics related to weight loss. That's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new videos. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.